Hi, and welcome to this short screencast showing Lombok and Java E6 using NetBeans and Classfish. So I'm installing Project Lombok into NetBeans. This is NetBeans 6.8 Release Candidate 1, uh, and it's really trivial to install with the uh, Lombok installer. Uh, you do need to restart, uh, so I'll start NetBeans in this case. So um, once NetBeans has started, I will create a web application and use Lombok to avoid creating getters and setters. Uh, so here, here we are. Uh, let's create this uh, project. So it's a web application, nothing specific to Lombok. It's a Java E6 applic um, web application. Let me call it uh, Lombok for Java E. Uh, click next and the only thing we will actually say here is that we want to use Java server faces and this is GSF 2.0 once the project has been created uh, we will you'll see this is a next XHTML page um, using facelets which is new in GSF 2.0 uh, we will actually now create a managed bean um, which you can consider as being the controller in the JSF uh, architecture. So um, a JSF manage bean, here we go, and call it customer. Doesn't really matter at this point. Uh, package. And the scope here will change it from request to session. This will actually generate a, a POJO with a couple of annotations. The first one is at manage bean, which is the GSF annotation, um, which makes the faces config now um, no longer needed. And the second one is add session scoped. Uh, we'll add uh, a number of fields, which are really just dummy fields at this point, uh, an idea, a name, and an amount, whatever that means. And we will actually add Lombok as a library. So I'm adding a jar file, which is the same jar file I used to install Lombok inside class, inside NetBeans. Um, so once this is done, I can uh, edit my manage bean um, with this add data um, annotation. This is only one of the annotations that Lombok provides. But this, as you can see in the lower left navigator, has created for me getters and setters, hash code, to string. You can only generate uh, getters and setters if you wanted to. Uh, but the reason I'm doing this is that um, I now want to be able to go back to my XHTML page and start using um, tags from JSF and say an output text and have the value. And this is where I will be using uh, the expression language with code completion from NetBeans and be able to use um, attributes like the amount or um, other properties uh, without having the getters and setters actually be part of the, the source. As you've seen, the managed bean is, is very uh, minimum. So amount, and in this case, we can use something like the name. And just, oh, let's close this. And we can then run the project. Um, not that it's very interesting at this point, but this will start Glassfish v3, um, deploy the application, and bring up the, the rendered page. Um, and this should take just a second. Um, so Glassfish v3 uses Mohara, as the, which is the reference implementation for JSF 2.0. And obviously, the, um, the, the values here, the attributes, have not been initialized. Um, so we can just quickly go back here and um, set the amount to something and the name as well and um, you know, call it Sparky, for example, and oh, move it to back to 142. And, you know, you can press save and simply reload. This is the automatic deployment in Glassfish v3, um, but you can also press run and in a matter of seconds, you should be able to reload the page. So there we are. So projectlombok.org, netbeans.org, and glassfish.org. You're all set. Thanks.